day three. So we're entering towards the Gibson property again. Early morning start. Oh no! There you go. So uh, let's follow this funnel theory um, in a more popularly traveled area of Titanite Hill. So pretty much as soon as you come from the parking spot down there, there's just one spot where you can park your car. You walk up the path up the side of Titanite Hill and uh, I find this spot here, right? And you'll notice one hole, two holes, three holes, four holes. Okay, uh, I look over here and I see what we're really doing is we're tapping into the top of a layer of calcite, very pure calcite. I can see there's apatite crystals within the calcite. Looking at this cap through the largest hole that I can find here, it slopes down on quite an angle. It is the ultimate funnel. I can see there's been running water, so obviously that's been a cavity. The running water will have taken every loose crystal from fissures like this one right over here. Ooh, there's a big... Okay. And moved all of those loose, heavy crystals down along underneath the cap, underneath the earth, over millions of years, and somehow deposited them in a pinch point somewhere along here. You don't know how deep it is, but my best option, and it's a pretty unlikely option, but it's my last day, so why not? I'm going to dig this out and just see if I can access along the, the slope here and just see how far it actually goes, if it's human accessible. Uh, but maybe there need to be lots of digging. Now I'm just going to see if I can actually find some of the little traps along the way where the crystals have, have gathered so, I mean, that's an idea for a person who wants to really give it some thought. Guarantee where this um, calcite pinches finally, or where, where the, there's a significant trap, you're going to have all sorts of heavy crystals like Titanite uh, building up there. Just poaching the crystals ahead of time, going through the holes. He's already found a nice little one. He says there's more to come. Watch out for the snakes, brother. Ever see that video where that guy stuck his foot down the hole? He had a python latch on it. So I'm just trying to enlarge in the hole here, but as I'm clearing the dirt off the top, I'm finding better stuff on the top almost, right? Look at that. All right, I just found a really nice little floater as well. Right here. I know I chipped a tiny bit of it, but there's another lovely little floater. There's the chip I made on it, sadly, with a shovel. Time to use the hands for a bit. There's something else. It's not an appetite. As I say, I just bust through into a hole. There's a little hole back there. I don't know what stuff. You can feel all sorts of rocks in there. They've got to be crystals. <laughs> That's got to be my day. day. Look at this. I'm back to eroding the top of the calcite layer. Like we just came out there. That was in the roof. And we're getting deeper in. There's a real nice little find. Sharp as can be. So I'm through the, the browner dirt and into the yellowy brown dirt. So that's stuff that's untouched. You've got roots in it. Uh, it says no one's been there before. And uh, I'm getting to the bottom of, of this. I can feel the calcite layer underneath. And something that's really quite telling is this. So you say, oh, what's this, right? It's a rounded rock. It's been washed by water. How did it get down there? I have a suspicion the hole underneath here was at one time running with water when it rained. And uh, as a result, it acted as this funnel, this sluiceway sort of thing that I'm seeking out in this particular area. See something real bad? See that guy there? He's what you call a claim jumper. He's tapping Bitcoin into my pocket. Share. He's tapping into my pocket without even asking me. Claim jumper. No He's good. He's pinching out anyways. Nah. That's what he just found. He got into a pocket underneath this. Is it under the calcite uh, layer? It's just a pocket. <laughs> I can feel one with my fingers down there. I just got to try and extract it here. It's, it's held to the wall by a very small section, so I'm going to just try and pop underneath it with a chisel and just pop it off without shattering the crystal. What do you just found, Jeff? Giant old turd, though. Put it closer. It's pretty big, though. Like, I mean, it's got a... Wow, nice one. Buddy. No. There's me going after my little crystal and you finding things like this. I mean, I'll still take it, clean it, see what it... 
Jeez, I'll take it if you don't want it. <laughs> Look at that. There's another nice floater for me. The lower you go, the better they get. What's going on, homie? Find anything? A hole. I can go. Really? Rock. So he's reaching down underneath this calcite cap that we've been trying to tap underneath, knowing that there's tons of goodies down there. Anything good there? Uh, little stuff. So what we call little stuff right now is stuff in southern Ontario you'd spend a lifetime looking for and never find. It's a mineral fishing hole, so it seems looking along, you see this flat cap of calcite, pretty well all underneath it. The minerals have rolled and flowed in the cavity. They've all trickled down to the very lowest end of where you can access that cap. So just by having those random holes that we put our hands through, well that's some pretty decent crystals, right? But you know this where this pinches, if a person were to hammer through the calcite, all along here, you would uh, you'd find some really nice, high-quality crystals. Whoever dug here must have found some good stuff. I don't doubt it, and especially underneath the tree, there's always good stuff underneath the tree roots. And uh, again, that was my spot where I was working. Jeff was working here. It was lower down because it keeps sloping, and so you found some better stuff lower in the fissure. Even here, if you could tap in down here. Picky, picky. Keeper? No. Yeah, a lot of these we're going to have to wash off. So home time. Long drive to Guelph. Probably got another four hours. Jeff's off down to Hamilton. Uh, I guess we call that an end of the, uh, of the long holiday of digging for minerals up here. Been up here for a couple of days. Real good time. Some real nice finds. That's it, man. End of the day. Bit of a mess. My wife's gonna freak when she sees the state of the car. Um, Miner on the left, just got all his neatly packed away. I guess I should have wrapped mine in newspaper, but oh well. You can see some potentially interesting things in that group.